Yeah, and in fact, it's been just like Christmas in terms of the sales here. It may be March, but the folks here at Dornack say they've broken their Christmas sales because of the sales that have been happening recently. But the owners tell me they understand the concern their customers have, especially when you are dealing with the fear of the unknown. This was the scene at the front door of Costco on Friday morning. The lines inside aren't even this long during the usual Saturday rush, but these are unusual times. I'm not worried about this craziness. I just needed to get because uh, I'm running low. So but for every customer market, like Jules Frederick, up. who was just you making know. a regular stop at the store. That's crazy. <laughs> there are those who are stocking up because of fears of the unknown or concerns about older relatives. My mother's 88. So I stocked up on frozen fruit things to make healthy drinks, oatmeal for my mom. We are trying to get it. Nicole Dornack says her store is never this busy in the early afternoon, and she likened the rush to hurricane preps, but with a twist. With a hurricane, everybody's kind of been through a hurricane before, so they kind of know what to expect. I don't think people know what to expect with this. This is just so sort of it's that the unknown. literal fear of the unknown. Yes, yeah. yes. Napkins, full of paper, paper towels. Which has led to a run on cleaning supplies. Lysol. Are people trying to buy a lot of that? They uh, have bought a lot of it. Boxes of it, actually. Paper towels and toilet paper are also in high demand, and stocking those supplies is keeping workers busier than usual. Mental health experts say there are steps you can take if you're feeling stressed right now. Take one minute to take a few deep breaths. Think about what you still can control. Take a break from news that can be overwhelming. And talk to friends or family. Even if it gets to a quarantine situation, we can still communicate. <laughs> but for as stressed as some people may be, there are those who are taking to what they do know to help take the edge off. This is the liquor department. This is what's really important right now. So now people are stocking up here. For the cabin fever. Yes, yes, for the cabin fever. <laughs> Now, we spoke to Dr. Michelle Moore. She's a clinical psychologist with LSU Health here in New Orleans for that story. And the talking to people is really the important part, she says, because as she said, keep in mind, we're all in this together. Reporting live in Metairie, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.